Hello, I'm Dr. Alton Merrill, and welcome to my Piano Technique course. There are three parts to my Piano Technique course. The first part is uh, a course for beginning pianists. The second part is a course for intermediate pianists. And the third part is for advanced pianists. And you have the option to get the entire course, beginning, intermediate, and advanced. And you also have the option to just get the advanced or the intermediate or the beginning course, whatever suits you best. Uh, today, we're going to start with uh, lesson one of the beginner course. And the goal of lesson one is to play five note finger patterns going around the cycle of fifths. Let me demonstrate what you'll be able to do at the end of this lesson. So in essence, I played the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifths starting on C. So let me explain what's going on here. First of all, a five note finger pattern is simply playing the first five notes of the major scale. So for example, C major scale is that. So the first five notes is um, G major scale, another example. So the first five notes of G major scale is... So what I mean by five note finger pattern is you're playing the first five notes of the major scale. And you're going to take that pattern and you're going to go around the cycle of fifths and play that pattern um, at different tempos. Let me explain to you what I mean. The cycle of fifths. Cycle of fifth is simply starting on a given note and then going up a fifth. So if we start on C, we go up a fifth, we're at G. Then on G, when we go up a fifth from G, we go to D. When we go from D to A, then we go from A to E, then we go from E to B, then we go from B to F sharp, then F sharp to D flat, D flat to A flat, then A flat to E flat, E flat to B flat, B flat to F, then F to C, and we're back home again. That covers all 12 keys. So we're gonna take that pattern, five note finger pattern, and we're going to go around the cycle of fifths. First is C, up a fifth and we play the same pattern on G. We go up a fifth and we play the same pattern. We go up a fifth, which is A, and we play the same pattern. We go up a fifth from A, which is E, and we play the same pattern. So that is the goal of this assignment, is to take the five note finger pattern and to go around the cycle of fifths, okay? Now, I recommend that you uh, complete this assignment in five steps, all right? The first step is to play a five note finger pattern hand separately. If you're a beginning pianist, don't attempt to reach this goal by playing hands together right away. Start off by playing hands separate. 
going around the cycle of fifths at no tempo. Example of what I'm talking about here, right hand. G. D. A. E. B. F sharp. D flat. E flat. I'm sorry, A flat. Then E flat. B flat. F. And you're back to C. Then you do the same thing with the left hand. Start with C. Then you go up to G. Up to D. Then the upper fifth would be A. Then E. B. Then on F sharp. Then on D flat, A flat, then E flat, B flat, F, then you're back home to C. All right, so that's the first step. Now, once you can master, master that, go to step two. And that is you play the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifth, hand together, no tempo. This is what I mean. Then we go up a fifth. Go up another fifth. Go up a fifth to A. And go up a fifth to E fifth to B, up a fifth to F sharp, then up a fifth to D flat, up a fifth to A flat, then E flat, B flat, F, then you're back home to C. Okay? So that's the second step. Now the third step is to play the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifths, hands together at a very slow tempo of a quarter note equals 65. So you set your metronome. It's very important to practice with a metronome. A metronome is perfect. The metronome serves as a mirror for when you play. It shows you how well you are playing rhythm. If you are off, it will show you. The metronome does not change tempos. Human beings do. So always practice with the metronome. All right, so third step. Play the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifths at the slow tempo of 65. And it'll sound like this. And I want you to do each one four times in a row. Next one. G, two, three, four. Next one. Two, three, four. Next one. Next one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two, three, four. Next one. Then we go one, two, three, four. Then we go up a fifth. One, two, three, four. Up another.
another fifth. One, two, three, four, up a fifth. One, two, three, four, up a fifth. One, So that's the third step. Hands together, going around the cycle of fifths. Quarter note equals 65. After you've mastered that, go to step four. Do the same thing at quarter note equals 75. Two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's step four. Now step five is you take the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifths at our goal tempo of 85. Okay, so that's the first assignment, playing the five note finger pattern going around the cycle of fifths. Make sure you break down the large goal, which is to play it at a tempo of quarter note equals 85, going around the cycle of fifths nonstop with no mistakes. Make sure you break that goal down into small goals. Remember, hands separate first, no tempo. Hands together, no tempo, going around the cycle of fifths. Number three, then hands together at a slow tempo of 65. Then after you've mastered that, go to hands together, slow tempo, well, and you increase it from 65 to 75. Be able to go around the cycle of fifths, no mistakes doing that. Then the last step is 85. Quarter note equals 85, hands together going around the cycle of fifths. Happy practicing.